Hey, good evening, guys. Tush coming at you. Quarter to eight, Wednesday, December the 27th. That's quarter to eight in the p.m. It's been a cold day and not very enjoyable out in the garage today. Right now, the old uh, temperature is minus 18 Celsius. Feels like minus 21 with a wind chill. A little frosty out in the garage. It is about one degree, just one degree Celsius. So, actually, it's probably more like zero. So what's that, 32 Fahrenheit? So uh, definitely chilly out here. I'm not sure how long we'll be out here. I've got the heater just cranked on now for a little bit. So uh, maybe we'll play around for uh, an hour or two. We'll get our power hour in. So maybe we'll uh, attempt to do a little bit more work on getting this uh, front fender fitted. And uh, we'll see if we can locate a few more uh, bolt holes in the process. So I think that'll be a fairly simple task for this evening. So we'll have to work fast to keep warm. We'll be back later. All right, guys, we've got the fender off and we've got the uh, two remaining holes drilled. So we should be good as far as the holes along this top flange. Not sure about the nose, but we'll figure that out once we repair the fender uh, that we're working on now. So I thought I'd just take you a quick look at this. So I think we'll take uh, baby steps tonight and uh, we'll work on this flange here, repairing this flange. Doesn't look to be overly difficult, although we have some rust here in the nose. That's probably going to be a bit of a problem. Anyway, we'll cut this piece out and we'll fashion a new flange in here. It should look something like this. So at least we've got a good fender to reference. So uh, anyway, we'll go ahead and get the uh, cutting tool out and uh, cut that old flange off and see if we can repair that and make it look a little bit better. All right, guys, patch is made. Just gonna tack it in. We'll try to tack it in at least. All right, guys, we've got the uh, fender flange all repaired. It'd be nice if all the repairs on this car were that easy. Anyway, we'll uh, move on to the next uh, section. I think maybe what we'll do is we'll repair this area up here and uh, we'll repair the, this, this little bite out of here. We'll put some fresh metal in here. And uh, that should look something like this. All right. And obviously that uh, closing piece fits in behind that. Looks like they've got an interesting, uh, I guess they couldn't get a, um, one of those uh, nuts on here. Tinnerman nuts, I guess they're called. I can't remember what they're called, but I guess they couldn't get a nut there. So what they've done is just bent over these, these two uh, flaps of metal. And I guess that's expected to pick up the, uh, the fastener. Anyway, we'll uh, repair this little piece on the other fender to make it look like this one. Back in a bit. All right, guys, the next patch is made. Here's what it looks like. You can see that. And it fits right in here. So we're going to plug that patch in there. And uh, we'll probably grind that down and then we'll call it a night. So I'll bring you back when that patch is in just to show you a little bit of progress. And then we'll call it a night. Alright guys, just a quick look of that uh, flange that's been repaired now and uh, ground down. Doesn't look too bad. Looks a lot better than it did. And the uh, bottom flange you can see there. Looks pretty good. And this one looks pretty good. So I've just got the clamped uh, finishing piece in. And uh, this is the area here that I need to fix tomorrow to extend down about here and it's got a captive nut on it as well and if you recall I've got this captive nut here that I need to get this broken bolt out of so we'll work on that tomorrow clean this piece up as best as we can. It'd be nice if I could get the sandblaster out tomorrow but it's supposed to be about minus 15 tomorrow so uh, not sure if I'm going to want to be sandblasting outside and I've, uh, I'm determined not to sandblast in the garage anymore because it makes too much of a mess so Anyway, we'll get back on this tomorrow. Just wanted to give you a quick look at that and uh, show you the progress. Not a lot of progress, but uh, at least we didn't spend the entire day on the couch today. All right, good morning, guys. Thursday, December the 28th, just coming up to 10.30 uh, a.m. And uh, a little chilly today. 
zero degrees in the garage this morning. That's possibly because it's minus 31 Celsius outside with the wind chill. I think it was minus 26 overnight. So definitely uh, a little on the nippy side. Anyway, back on the fender this morning. We're going to finish this area up that we started working on. And that's going to require us to make a new uh, piece for this uh, closing panel. And it's going to require us trying to get out a broken bolt. I'm thinking I'm going to try some heat on that guy with a pair of vice grips. We'll uh, figure something out. Anyway, we'll uh, get to working on that piece. Maybe after it gets a little bit warmer out here. We've got the heater cranked up, so hopefully that'll do its job. Zero degrees is a little uh, too cold to work, but uh, we'll just have to work faster. All right, guys, we're going to heat things up a little bit. Uh, I've got a propane torch out here. <clears throat> I'm going to try to get this uh, stuck bolt out. I just uh, tried my turbo torch on my acetylene tank and uh, can't get it to work. So something's going on with that. All I got is a whole bunch of black soot. So I'm not sure if my torch is clogged. I'll have to go take a look at that. But uh, I've got acetylene dust, flakes, whatever you want to call it, floating around the shop now. So uh, this may not work. Generally this uh, torch will not get this full. Hot enough to get this out, but uh, I don't want to make you watch me for however long it takes to get this thing out, so <clears throat> I'll just maybe turn you off, and uh, if it comes out, I'll let you know. At least you'll know what I did to get it out. And we've got a big sturdy pair of vice grips handy. Let's see if we can get this twisted out after we get it heated up. All right, we'll come back. Tush one, bolt none. I mentioned yesterday that I'd like to uh, maybe try to attempt to sandblast this thing. So uh, we've got the compressor charging up, and we've got the uh, sandblasting equipment outside the door. It is a little chilly, but it makes it feel so much warmer when you come inside. Anyway, we'll uh, do some sandblasting. Alright guys, we've got that uh, piece now sandblasted and I've just taken the angle grinder to clean it up a little bit more. So there's what it looks like. Definitely looking uh, better than it was. So uh, cleaned up not too bad. I'll probably just hit this with a little bit of uh, gel rust remover just to get rid of the rest of the pitting. But it's definitely going to be a usable piece. So I thought I'd give you a quick look at that. So what we're going to do now is finish this end flange piece and uh, put a captive nut on it and then we'll fit it up to the fender. Alright, so we just got that uh, piece clamped back in there and I'm trying to create this piece on the end. So uh, I need to basically tack a piece on something like that. So we're just trying to get the angle right. What I'll probably do is actually tack it right there while it's clamped up. And then uh, we will find the location for that captive nut. So I think that's what we're going to do now. Just tack that in place and then we'll trim it as required. Alright guys, what we're trying to do now is we're trying to locate the uh, hole or holes on this front closing piece. And I'll see if I can uh, bring you in here without knocking you over. 
So this mounting piece goes something like this, and it follows the contour of the uh, inner fender. So I basically need a hole for this location. I don't know if you can see that. For this location, which I'm going to mark about here. So I'm hoping this is going to be pretty close. It feels pretty good right there. I'm going to need a whole location up here. There is a little bit of movement available in these whole locations, so let's see if that's marked. Yeah. I'm going to need a hole here. I'm going to need a hole here. And then the last thing to do is to find out for this bottom piece, uh, I need to find out where this other uh, nut is going to be welded on. So what I need to do basically is to clamp this, or actually maybe what I'll do is I'll drill this first hole. I will tighten this to the inner fender, and then I'll go on the inside and I'll mark where that nut is going to be required on this bottom flange piece. Hopefully you can see that. I'm not sure if you're exactly in frame or not, but uh, Anyway, hopefully you can see that. Alright guys, we've got the uh, couple of uh, bolt holes drilled. Now I'm hoping they're in the right location. I'm really not going to know until I actually tack this to the front fender and try it. I'm assuming it's in the right location, although this could technically go forward a little bit. I still haven't drilled the bottom location. I have marked it out. So, uh, Again, I think we're going to have to fit this to the fender and then bolt the fender up to be able to find out the exact location for this front uh, closing panel. So it's a little bit more trickier than you would think. So uh, we'll figure it out. Alright guys, we've got that uh, captive nut or the nut welded on the back now. So that's looking like it's in pretty good shape. So we're going to give this a coat of uh, zinc primer and then we're going to tack it to the fender and see how we did as far as the alignment is concerned. So that's what we're going to do now. All right, there's a look of that uh, closing panel in place now, and you're just about to tack it. So we've drilled the hole for this uh, little uh, fastener up here. There's our new flange on the end. We're just going to tack it here and here, and we'll make sure that fits before we fully weld that. Actually, the uh, original fender doesn't look like it's fully welded anyway. It's only tacked in uh, probably three or four spots, so uh, we'll probably do the same. But anyway, we'll see if we can get it to fit properly before we go uh, too much further. Alright guys, back out in the uh, garage just after a quick bite of lunch. And uh, we did manage to get that uh, fender fitted up with that closing piece intact. Now there are a few issues. First one being here uh, at the front. You can see that my hole location didn't match up with what the where the flange actually is. It's about an inch off almost and you can see that we have some work to do here on the front we need to ex extend this flange piece out significantly um, so I was using the passenger side as a reference and this is how the uh, passenger side is actually done although not correctly obviously so we can actually see now that we have the fender mounted that uh, this actually is a little bit too short so we'll endeavor to fix that. So that's one thing we need to fix. Second thing is we weren't able to actually match up the uh, mounting hole location here by my finger. It's actually a little bit forward. So we're going to have to redrill this. This one worked out perfectly. So we're good there. Just these other two locations that we're going to have to work on and we're going to have to obviously build up this flange. The other thing I'm a little bit concerned about but I won't really know for sure until I get the other mounting locations bolted up is you see a bit of a gap here. So we may have to metal work this a little bit to, to close that gap. I don't know if you can see that very well, but I'm not too concerned about it because I think the grill actually uh, may cover that, but uh, we want to get that as close as possible. So um, that's about it on the update for the front fenders. You might be asking yourselves why I'm having so many issues fitting these fenders up, but if you recall, and maybe you don't remember, this car actually came with fiberglass fenders on it, and uh, the fiberglass fenders were not fitted particularly well, particularly at the front, most of the mounting locations were uh, were actually broken away. So these are our replacement fenders for this car, So, um, and obviously this car has been screwed around with a lot in the past, so that's why we're having some issues getting these uh, fenders to fit back properly. 
or maybe I'm just overly anal. Alright, so we've just made a quick uh, template of the patch we need to make for the uh, nose piece to complete the nose piece. So we're just about to move the fender, so we wanted to uh, make that template before we remove the fender completely from the car. So we'll build this front flange up, so that'll be the inner flange, and then we need to make an outer piece to match up to it. So uh, we'll do that. We've also just marked out the uh, locations for the uh, holes with a uh, marker on the inside here and also on the flange, the new flange we put on the bottom as well needed to uh, be drilled for a new uh, uh, bolt location so we've done that as well so we'll go ahead and uh, take the fender off I don't know how many times I've had this fender on and off <laughs> but uh, we'll go ahead and take it off again I'm sure it'll probably be on and off another 50 times before this car is done anyway that's what we're gonna do alright guys we have that new uh, front flange welded in so we've just pretty much extended it to the front of the fender have to do a little grinding here but other than that it's in and I need to drill the hole for the fastener location which is just by my finger I also need to elongate this hole a little bit for the uh, inner panel fender uh, connection so we'll do that once we remove the fender I got a dinner date with my parents at five o'clock so we're gonna pick this up after I get back from dinner so uh, we'll see you then all right, guys, 8.30. I'm back from dinner with the folks. That was very nice. They're uh, on their way home uh, tomorrow after spending uh, Christmas uh, holidays at my sister's house, which is about uh, 15 minutes drive away. So uh, had quite a nice dinner. And uh, then we were back in the garage, and we're going to try to finish up this fender. So where we left off, I need to drill a hole for this uh, mounting location. And I need to drill a couple holes in the flange on the inside of the uh, fender down here. So we're going to take the fender off again and drill a few more holes and see if we can get that bolted up at all locations. Alright guys, running out of patience tonight. 9.30. Still have one fastener to go. This is drilled in a long, wrong location apparently. It needs to be a little bit higher. It's close but no cigar. But we did manage to get the... Uh, inside bolts bolted up which is good so the fenders on there pretty solidly but uh, I think what we'll do is we'll fill this hole up tomorrow while that closed and we'll drill another hole just slightly higher and then we should be able to capture that uh, tinnerman nut on the inside of this fender and that should complete the front and then we just basically need to uh, work on the uh, rest of the holes I think we're pretty much lined up now so just need to get the uh, the Tinnerman nuts on the inside and then throw the bolts in here. I think we're uh, good to go as far as the rest of the locations are concerned. So it's really just this little guy up here that's a problem. And I have one more other little area of concern. Let me just uh, scoot around here. So we've got the bolt in the bottom here. There's actually another fastener that goes up here, but I think that plate that I made is a little bit too long and it's interfering with the upper uh, location for there's a hole just right about where my finger is you can see that should be a hole there so I'm gonna have to probably drill uh, probably cut this flange a little bit shorter and then drill a hole through the actual flange on the fender to be able to capture that upper captive nut on the inside it's on there pretty solidly anyway it's not going anywhere but uh, it's bolted pretty solidly to the front of the car that's for sure anyway we'll uh, endeavor to uh, sort of trim this piece tomorrow and see if we can get a uh, pick up that uh, fastener location here at the top but everything else is in which is good so uh, happy with that although uh, I probably uh, drilled and welded up a few holes probably didn't measure as well as I should have but uh, things seem to move a little bit once you get all the fasteners uh, bolted up so it's a good thing that we're uh, we're doing it now and not when the car is painted so Anyway, I think we're going to call the night. We'll upload this video. I don't know how much uh, content there is, but you can see what I've been up to for the last uh, couple of days. Anyway, and uh, we'll, we'll get back out here tomorrow, and uh, hopefully it's a little bit warmer out here, but uh, we shall see. See you tomorrow.